What's up, chatters? It's your girl, Kathy Chit-Chat. Make sure to subscribe. Yes, I do not feel good. So listen, I know it's given nasally, but today has been a day. In fact, this has been a weekend when it comes to this Truth saga. And I don't know if the divorce is fine or not, y'all, but I don't understand why it's not being announced if it is, because at this point, a party is long overdue. So nonetheless, someone sent me this these tweets from you know bay the actor john l and first glance i was like wait what what do you mean that was your response to someone throwing water on you and maybe it's because i'm older and in my auntie era where i don't understand that you know perhaps the 30 somethings did i asked my 20 somethings nieces and nephew they said they don't play like that but Come on now, throwing Dr. Pepper mixed with Listerine or fruit punch and you just got your hair done. I promise you that would be the last time that that party ever did that to a woman because I'm busting the windows out your car like that Listerine in my eyes. And then nieces, a man is not a sucker if he buys things for you. I, I want you to know that, you know, that's what real men do. So, you know, to each his own, but we are as women supposed to have our own and always make sure you have a little stash. But I don't like the narrative that some men paint that women are gold diggers. Now, keep in mind, it's some scandalous ass women out here, y'all. Ooh, but not all women are like that. And you're not a sucker if you treat your woman to something nice. So that's that. And also a major shout out to fellow sister girls. Black women is now the most educated demographic, like when it comes to bachelor's and master's degrees, like sisters are really out here getting it. I mean, owning businesses and things of that nature. So salute to the sisters. Just had to get that out there. But uh, don't know if you know, but some videos dropped uh, between like 24 hours from both teams, I'll say, because keep in mind, I'm not team anyone. I'm team the truth and team no bullshit. So both videos were dropped from each party's side and I'm just gonna first you guys watch it and watch them both and then for one I took the liberty to slow it down for you so you can see um, when it gets a little disheveled and what's occurring there so let's have a look at both these videos and warning they are graphic and could be triggering you know to some but have a look and let's chat Open the door, I gotta get something out of there. Trying to do this without having to push it open, but I can push it open. You came back to the house three times, you could have got your shoes. You came back to the house three times. Open the door so I can You came back three times. Because this is my house. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's my house. It's not. It's not. Same, the same reason why you came back in all the other addresses. The same reason why you came back in all the other addresses that I own. Goodbye. Same reason why. Get your shit. Same, no, I ain't going nowhere. Don't come back. I ain't going nowhere. Trust me. Watch. Trust me. Watch me. Now you get to see how I look. You see how it feel now, don't you? Watch. You see how it feel now, don't you? To pay bills somewhere Watch. and can't put a nigga out because they're your husband. Watch. Slow folk. Watch. I went through it. Watch. You gonna go through it now. Soon as you leave. You, soon as I leave, I'll come back. Watch. I'll get back in every Watch. time. I'll get back Watch. in every time. Watch. Trust me. Watch. 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 Don't you have something? Yeah, I do. I do. So I do. No, no, I'll get it when I'm ready. Yeah. When I'm ready. When I'm ready. You're no, weird. You're sick. You. You're sick. You're sick. You're sick. And you're sick. And you're sick. I am dumb. I'm dumb for marrying you. Yes. I'm dumb. I'm dumb for marrying you. I'm dumb for marrying you. Yeah, smack me. Go ahead. That, that, that makes you better. Bye. Smack me. That makes you even better. Smack me. Smack. There you go. go Just go. Do more. Do more. Do more. Do more. Do more. Do more. Abusive Goodbye. person. Goodbye. Do more. Goodbye. Now you want to take it to Goodbye. physical abuse too. You've been verbally Goodbye. abusing me the whole time. Let's Goodbye. go. Goodbye. Let's go. Goodbye. Do it. When you come back. Do it. Oh yeah. Well, let's do that too. Cause I'm going to see the lawyer today. Goodbye. I want you to put it on there so I can record that too. Put it out there. You giving everything I need. Thank you. Going to see the lawyer at four. Yes. Yes. I got so much shit to show him. Acting like you a good person. Ain't nothing good about you. Never was. Came into this marriage wanting to come up. That's all it was. Came. Oh, I'm going to touch it. Got it right now. Do something. Do something. Stop hitting. Do something. 
Your camera right here too. Let's go. Hit me do with that. Go ahead, hit me. Do hit me. Go ahead. Keep doing. Keep hitting. Me. Come on. Do, do it. Go ahead. Do it. You done, you done fucked up my clothes. I got a meeting to go to. Oh, yeah. You done fucked up my clothes. I got a meeting to go to. Weird. I told you you sick. Bye. Now you see how sick Bye. you are. Now you see that ain't gonna do nothing to me. Bye. Now you see how sick you are. I told you. This is why I can't go to all my meetings. This is the reason why my money is messed up right here. A brand new outfit. Yep. Brand new outfit. Yep. Soaked. Yep. Gatorade and stuff poured on. Yep. That's that's gonna help you. This is if you think this is helping you. Bye. Continue to do it. Acting like you a good person. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing good about you. Never was. Mm -hmm. Came into this marriage wanting to come up. That's all it was. Came, oh, I'm going to touch it. Got it right now. Whoa, right? That was a lot, you guys. So Sage in the City reacts and reloaded. Gino has that video if you want, guys want to check it out there too. But yikes. You know what? I am so glad that these two are no longer in the same household because what bothers me is one, children are present. And another thing that I noticed, Brianna is saying, do something, do something. And I said this before, I think that B Brianna is one that knucks and bucks. I think it's been plenty of situations and a lot of which some she initiated. And I do think from what she's shown on her own platform, she does have an anger or she can become extremely angry into where she'll lash out. You know, she'll get to cursing and, you know, nigga this and dropping videos. We haven't seen that in a little bit of time. So hopefully we don't, especially being in a relationship. Now we shouldn't have these outbursts. But clearly this bothered her because she did say that my man is saving a lot of you motherfuckers. Now, I don't know who her publicist is, but when you are now basically a poster child for surviving domestic, alleged domestic violence, you know, showing aggression is not a good idea. And especially if you just won an influencer award, the two kind of just don't, they don't go. They're apples and oranges. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't like make that make sense. It just doesn't, the two don't go well together. So I'm just, it's just really, uh, I'm just speechless because the narrative that's being painted is that, you know, she was in an abusive relationship and I think that has been miscategorized and it was just a toxic relationship. And like I said before, when I was talking about like the interview where the magazine published that she was uh, being abused and things of that nature as a woman if I was in that particular relationship if someone asked me like what happened or why are you leaving I would say my husband and I our relationship became so toxic in which we were both hurting one another it's best that we separate it because there I'm accountable for my actions and I'm also not throwing him under the bus and putting it all on him as well. And I feel like that was the narrative and that's the narrative that's being spun. And I urge women to right now is not the time because we don't know the mental state of some of these men. If you smack a man, you don't know his temperament. You don't know what he could be going through. And the consequences could be fatal. And we've seen it time and time again. So if you find yourself where you yourself want to put hands on a man, remove yourself. Because you don't know what he can do in return. Because not every man out there will walk away. And I've seen it time and time again. And people lose their lives for relationships such as that. So I'm hoping history doesn't repeat itself i'm hoping we can learn from past mistakes here because this is just bad all around and i'm so happy that those two would like this 
that's not okay. Neither of it is okay. And you would be crazy to say that. And I think they both triggered one another in their marriage. And it's just, I, I couldn't, knowing if I contributed I just, I couldn't, I don't know. I just wouldn't spin that narrative. I would have to, you know, point it out that it got toxic and abusive on both ends. And there were times when I too was physical with my husband, not even in self-defense because that's how angry I was. You know, I would be, I would own that. So I don't, I don't know. This is just ugly to me. Um, Latruth posted, and I hope nothing comes of this, but you know me, I'm always thinking, but he posted that he lost his phone outside of the BET Awards. And the first thing I'm thinking is like, oh, gosh, is when someone gets a phone of, you know, an influencer or a celebrity, if it's tea in there, oh, I'm going to spill it. You know, so hopefully if there's like text messages or like explicit videos or whatever the case may be or leading up to that, that's just not OK. So I'm hoping he finds it. And it's okay, but your phone in the wrong hands could be. So I don't know what's going on with that. And we'll leave that be. But please, please, can they announce that they're divorced and everybody just move on and be happy? Because this shit that I watch is very, very bad. It really is. It really is. And especially, and I said this before in the beginning, y'all, like if it gets to the point, sometimes like people record so other people would believe them. But it seems like there was recording more show to expose who's crazier or it's just ugly. And I don't, I, it's just ugly. And I think both parties contributed and he's not 100%. The only party, you know, who was abusive in this situation. And it's it's sickening, though, because, like, he can't do anything at, at this point. Like, if he even tags somebody, they're going to that person's page and telling them how much of a monster he is. Like, his platform has altered drastically as a result of this. And I think it's more so... I've never seen the truth on a major platform basically standing up or you know discussing all of this so it's one thing to like if you're private if this was like a private matter that would be cool but when so much has been put out there it just makes you under like why have you never gone on like a major platform and really explained your side and with the genuine sincere heartfelt interview like i haven't seen that from him so i don't know maybe he has a trick up his sleeve or that's to come or or whatever but it would be refreshing to not see uh you know no jokes and games because none of this is funny like a real serious interview but because this is just it's just getting worse and it's it's really unfortunate i'm very happy that and i can't stress this enough i'm very happy that those two are not under the same household and i'm also i gotta hold my own self accountable too because from when little boys are boys we tell them never hit girls you know but the climate has changed so much we've read stories in which women are taking the lives of some men and i think we need to pay attention when our sons and our brothers and our nephews are are telling us about a situation in which a woman becomes physical with them because it's not safe on either side and I don't think men receive enough support for that. I think that we have it covered. Like a, a sister girl that's been abused, she's going to have her girlfriends. There's the Me Too movement. There's all sorts of law in place, you know, sexual harassment. But it's really not kind of like the same when it comes to men. Like if a man goes to HR and says that a woman grabbed my Johnson, they'll probably laugh at him. But if a woman walks in and says he grabbed my breast, then that's the situation. So I we got to admit, it's not, it's not equal when it comes to to that but this situation is i don't want to say bullshit because it's it's saddening when you really really think about it that people can go to this extent when it comes to situations and like i said if you played a part you need to, to own that and um i think they both did and I, i'm waiting for the announcement because if she's in another relationship Maybe it is final, but I don't know why that wouldn't be shared after all of this. Wouldn't you want to put that out there? So I, I, I personally don't even know these people, but I want them divorced like yesterday, like last month and never, ever, ever.
think of it again with the two because it's just bad and I'm not laughing because I don't like to laugh at people's pain but um yeah and I'll say this too if you don't really heal your wounds and if you are triggered by certain things and are the type to become physical in a relationship really work on yourself because you don't want to bring that type of shit to the next relationship because again you don't know what the next person's temperament truly is y'all be safe and stay chatting ciao and i just want to add i don't count the tasha k interview because that backfired tremendously and then also the same thing with um skin bone you know skin bone is a comedian and funny as shit but i think skin bone is in his 20s you know maybe early 30s like he needs to talk to someone like what is maybe dl ugly you know but i think it's time to do like an actual mature like sit down because this is too much, you know, so either it's going to continue because it's not going to go away or, you know, at some point you got to address the elephant in the room. But that's just my opinion. All right.